the oceans are the next frontier. There's so much out there that we are yet to explore. We know more about the moon than we know about the ocean. I really think that we're privileged to be able to go in the oceans, in the marine environment. We're just visitors or guests. You've got so much diversity, so many interesting animals. One of the biggest ones and the best for me is the whale shark and that's why I'm here. The whale sharks were only first discovered in 1828. Up until the mid-1980s, there'd only been about 350 confirmed sightings around the world. Whale sharks haven't been studied that much over the years because they are a difficult subject to work on. They're very highly migratory. They don't often come to the surface because they don't need to, and they can sit at the bottom for years if they want. It just so happens that when humans get to see them is at the surface, hence the reason I'm at Ningaloo Reef, because it's one of the places where they come every year. It's pretty amazing when you swim with a whale shark. When you jump in the ocean and all of a sudden, out of the blue, comes this huge creature. It's the biggest thing out there, really, apart from some of the large whales, like the blue whales. A lot of people think, shark, danger, let's not go near them. Whale sharks are one of the gentlest creatures on the planet, but this species is a threatened species, listed as vulnerable to extinction. Each whale shark has a unique pattern of lines and spots on their skin. The pattern is actually very much like a fingerprint and uh, we are confident that it is an accurate way of identifying individuals and recognising a shark against another shark. It's very important to identify the individual sharks because we don't know a lot of their movements. We don't know where they're going and uh, where they come from most of the time. The photograph is a way of naturally tagging the shark. We can prove that some sharks return to the same area either on a weekly basis or between years. When you've got thousands of photos that you're trying to compare one photo against, it's very difficult. But we've been able to use an algorithm that was originally used by the Hubble Space Telescope scientists to map um, stars in the night sky. And, and we've been able to adapt that to mapping and matching the spots on the skin of the shark, which has been a, a fantastic advance. The beauty of the Ecocean Whale Shark Photo ID Library is that it is open to anybody. Actually, all the tourists can actually be a part of the research that we're doing because if you've got a camera, which most people do when they go out swimming with the shark, if you do take a photograph and you want to submit that photo to our online database... Um, anybody can be a research shark. assistant in any part of the world and um, that really opens this conservation project up to you know, thousands more people than just the small amount of work that will be done by one researcher in one country. Well, the Royal Rates Award is going to be so important for getting this project going in many other parts of the world. We can provide some training or some, some expertise, some equipment to many other countries around the world where whale sharks are currently seen and get them involved in helping with their research collecting photos. That's going to be such a, an amazing resource of data and we're going to be able to map the movements of hundreds, maybe thousands of whale sharks around the world. And hopefully some of the answers we find will help with the ultimate conservation of, of this species. <laughs>